Now we'll talk about subtraction and start by looking at these simple examples. 8 minus 5, that's pretty easy. 8 minus 5 is 3. And that's the same thing as 8 plus negative 5. That's also 3. And over on the right, 12 minus 4 is 8. And 12 plus negative 4 is 8. So in this case, subtracting 5 is the same thing as adding negative 5. And over here, subtracting 4 is the same thing as adding negative 4. In both cases, subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. Subtracting a number is the same thing as adding the opposite of the number. And in fact, that's the definition of subtraction. Mathematicians define subtraction based on what we already know about addition. So let's write this down mathematically. The definition of subtraction. If a and b are real numbers, then a minus b is, by definition, a minus b is a plus negative b. Or think of the negative sign as meaning opposite, a plus the opposite of b. And this actually results in some practical techniques for evaluating and for simplifying expressions. Let's look at some examples here. 5 plus negative 2x, that could be written more simply as 5 minus 2x. And that's how it would commonly be written. Instead of saying 5 plus negative 2x, we realize that adding a negative 2x is the same as subtracting 2x. Or look at this next example. This is different. 11 plus 8 minus 4 plus 2 minus 8 minus 5. We can group all the positive numbers together. 11 plus 8 plus 2. So there's the 11, the plus 8, and the plus 2. And all the negative numbers. There's a negative 4, a negative 8, and a negative 5. And let's add these up. 11 plus 8 plus 2 is 21. And we're going to add that to all of these things added together. Um, 4, 8, and 12. 4, or sorry, 4, 8, and 5. 4 plus 8 is 12, and 5 is 17. So all these add up to negative 17. So 21 plus negative 17 ends up being 4. Because 21 minus 17 is 4. Adding a negative number is the same as subtracting that number. 